YouTube. This is going to be a video on one of my hearses. This particular model is a 1969 Cadillac Superior Crown Sovereign combination car. This car was originally white. It has been painted black. As of right now, the curtains for the vehicle have been sent off to a curtain maker. I'm going to have them replaced with a deep red floral print design. This is the business end. Let's take a look inside. When I got this car, there was no floor in the back. It was bare metal. These pieces of trim and rollers were not here. I had to hunt these down out of a donor car. <clears throat> I put all new subfloor down, wood underneath. I put black carpet in here. Originally, this would have been a black linoleum type material with gold flecks in it but I like carpet better. Uh, I had to hunt down a cot bar. That's what this is right here. That's for the ambulance part to hold the gurney in place. These rollers are reversible. Push the button, flip the roller, and they all lay flat for the wheels of the gurney. All of them flip over. I'm gonna pull the casket halfway out so I can show you how the seats in the front work. And this car is a combination car. It can be used as an ambulance or a hearse. Right now, the seats are in the down position for the hearse. These seats flip up and lock into place so it can be used for an ambulance. These are for the attendants to sit in the back, paramedics. There are hooks hanging from the ceiling for IV bags. There is rear heat and air conditioning and dome lights. Dome lights work. I'm gonna flip these seats up. Like I said, these seats were not in this car. None of the chrome trim was in this car. It was bare metal floor. I had to replace everything. These seats I will have reupholstered and probably new foam put in them. On the other side of oh, this symbol also was not on the car. I had to put that back on there. Got off of a donor car. <clears throat> on this side, there's a trap door for supplies for the funeral home. I uh, made a new door, lined it in vinyl, put it on.
put this trim in, put a new piece of wood with new vinyl there. Here's a little storage compartment. I keep all my cleaning supplies in there. Up here is another storage compartment. I have uh, random miscellaneous stuff. Here's the fabric that the curtains will be made out of. It's like a dark red with a floral print on it. In the front, standard 69 Cadillac base model. No telescoping or tilt wheel. No cruise control, just base. This car did not come with a radio in it. I installed the radio. Had some nice Cadillac floor mats made up for it. Installed a few speakers. The seat, the vinyl was ripped real bad. I did my best at stitching it back up. Doesn't look perfect, but it looks a lot better than what it did. Behind the seat. We have the spare tire, a little cheapy speaker box. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in there or not. Uh, there is a Superior Crown emblem that goes right here. The car was missing it when I bought it. I did track another one down. That's what it's supposed to look like. I will install that soon. There's the Crown trim. Somebody had put a crinkle top on the front. This whole front should be painted. Sooner or later, I'm gonna pull all that off and see how much damage from rust that that is hiding. Redo all that. Redo this windshield trim. It's Somebody did a poor job on it. All in time though, it will be done. And I got my copy of Handbook for the recently deceased. <laughs> I have my funeral flags on the front that I made the staffs for, put a spring in. I made the mounts. They do not touch the metal. They will not scratch the paint. They are bolted into the side of the fender underneath the hood. I have my purple headlights that illuminate purple when the high beams are on. Let me go ahead and open the hood. Under the hood, basic 1969 472 big block. Haven't done much to it except for upgraded it with the HEI. I took the old points distributor out. One of the best things I did for the car runs a whole hell of a lot better, starts up easier. Of course, when you do that, you will have to switch the spark plugs out and the spark plug wires. I gapped them to 55. I couldn't really find too much on what to gap them on, so straight out of the box I had I had bought spark plugs for a 1974, I believe it is, 500, which is the same block, but it has factory HEI on it. So if you're interested in doing the conversion, that's that's what I bought. This car has dual exhaust on it. And it rumbles and purrs like a kitten. Well, that's about it for my 1969 Cadillac Superior Crown Sovereign Combo. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Have a great day.